All right, where do you want me? On for, the ground? For the prone cobra? Yeah. Get down on All the right, ground. All right, I'm gonna do this. Uh, I've done prone cobras on physio balls, but this, uh, this version that you're about to show, I really like for correctional purposes. This is excellent, so. All right, so uh, flat down on my stomach? Flat down on your stomach. All right. And you're gonna have your arms down by your sides with palms down. There you go. Okay, so when we're looking to affect posture long-term, we have to look at the amount of time under tension that you're going to be in this position and contracting these muscles. So it takes a minimum of 180 seconds or three minutes of time under tension. So this is an isometric hold. You can do it all at once or you can break it up into sets. Okay, so Sal, you are going to lift your torso off the ground, keep your chin tucked towards your chest, lift your arms up off the ground, think airplane wings, thumbs up to the ceiling. So he's opening his shoulders into external rotation. Think long back of the neck, perfect, just like that. He's breathing through his nose. How does that feel, Sal, is that okay? It's hard, but I can feel it. I can see what muscles I'm working there in the back. Okay, great. So you've, we've released these muscles in the front of the body and the things that were holding him in, you know, maybe a faulty posture. And now he's able to retract his scapula. Good. Just think thumbs up to the ceiling. Keep opening those shoulders. Great. You okay there? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Am I shaking? Not, you're not shaking, but okay. I, I know this is a very, here. it's a challenging uh, <laughs> position to hold. So you can come down and rest if you need to. Excellent. So when, when someone's doing this particular uh, move, they're coming up and holding the squeeze for how long would you say? Three minutes. Oh, But in the beginning, sometimes you just start with 30 seconds and you give them 30 seconds rest and then you do six sets or you can do two sets of 90 seconds. Mm -hmm. It really depends on the person you're working with. And so when I was doing this, I felt this all along that mid back kind of area. That, exactly. That, that all the muscles in the mid back that we're trying to strengthen to get the shoulders to come back. How important is the twisting of the hands in this particular movement? Um, when you see the hands start to fall this way, you know you're not getting maximum re retraction of the scapula because okay. it's gonna roll the shoulders forward. So the more I flip my thumbs up towards the ceiling, the more I'm gonna be able to fully retract my scapula together. Now here's an important note, when you're twisting your hands out, if they're coming to the outside. I've actually seen people do this and yeah. think that they need to do this, which yeah. is look what happens to her shoulder when we rotate that way, it comes forward totally destroys the movement versus right. here, look what happens, automatically wants to pull it back. Exactly. Excellent, thank you much for the prone cobra. You gotta do a little afterwards. Uh, <laughs> uh, listen, we post a new video every single day, uh, so subscribe to our channel. Also, go to mindpumpmedia.com, you'll get 30 days of coaching for free.